Okay, my peeps, that's my table. This is my beauty room. I wanted to make sure that everybody saw it before we started moving things around. It's a pretty big room besides the master. I think it's the largest one in the house, which I feel really selfish about, but none of my kids chose this room because it's right next to the master. So the plan is, that's the window. The plan is to put my table that I record from here somewhere so that it faces the window. You can see all that I'll be looking out at is a roof. So that'll make it easy for like me not to feel embarrassed if somebody is trying to peek in the window because that's just not gonna happen. I do think all of our Wi-Fi stuff is in this room. So I'm gonna have to kind of hide that somehow. And I think that how I'm gonna do that is put the vanity here on this wall. And then the shelving unit that I had all my pallets on will still go underneath it. And then these could be like tucked into one of the cubbies that is in that shelving unit. That is the shelving unit. So it will be okay. The only thing I don't love about my table going here and the vanity going here is that that means the background is gonna be this closet. So, what I'm planning on doing is getting some like fairy lights or something to put into the background, maybe some contact paper to cover these doors in like a prettier setting than what this is. <laughs> um, but I love that this room has a big closet in it. It's not a walk-in or anything, but it is a big closet. That is the door to like the laundry room and the bathroom. That is another downfall of this is that if laundry is going, I'm not gonna be able to record because the laundry room is literally right there. So there's that, but that's another one of my shelving units. This is a new dresser that I just purchased to house some of my makeup stuff. And what, what I do love about it is you guys, these drawers are so cool. They pull, they pull out, but they're velvet lined and they're open at the top. So I can put like pallets in here because there's still a lot of space. The only ones that aren't gonna fit in here are like the bigger, taller ones, but they'll, I guess they'll fit in there laying down but I want to use this for pallet storage versus what I was using that for. And then this top portion, also velvet lined, will have, I don't know, something in it, but I'm really super excited to have this new piece for storage. And this whole wall will be storage solutions for, for my makeup. <laughs> And then, of course, that's my my chair and my my stool for the vanity and the table. So this is the vanity that my husband built, right? This was in my background previously. That is going to go along this wall. So that's what I have got planned. You guys can see that the floor, you see my toes, they need to be redone. My jammas. The floor is white, <laughs> so my husband did go get go to Costco just now to buy a rug that I found that I, I want for this room that's long enough that there will be no problems with makeup spillage on this white carpet. But right now, the closet has a bunch of stuff in it because we haven't got anything in this room right now but also all of my boxes of makeup are out here um you guys can see this is the laundry room but the bathroom isn't super far away so if i need to like wash my hands or something like that that's right there um yeah so that's my room i will put the camera up as i'm getting stuff together in here so that you guys can watch the whole process Okay, so in order to record <laughs> what I've got going on here, I had to set 
of some of the things, y'all. But this is the room. Look, we got a carpet. It's a beautiful carpet. Um, I have my vanity set up and a mirror. My table, my monitor. And sound is there, just not set up yet. So everything's going to sound weird this time around. This is what I'm setting everything up into. Currently, all of my beauty room stuff is right here. It's a dang mess. But I am going to set up the camera in the doorway and hopefully get stuff recorded for you guys. <laughs> so here we go.
Okay, so now I'm here to show you what it, it looks like end game. <laughs> so this is my beauty room, y'all. We walk in this little blanket here is for my doggo. He has been spending a lot of time up here with me and I put this up here on the floor for him to lay on. I have some bags, some hats, some whatnots up here. Okay, so when you walk in immediately, you see like storage, the window, my lighting, my camera setup, my table, my vanity, and then my closet. So over here, we have all of my palettes. This is the same storage unit that I had at the old house. This is from my hair, not my nails are not dirty. You'll see my new hair soon. But this is from also my old house. This is storage that I had set up. So all of my palettes, this is makeup newness. Anything that I have that I have purchased goes in there until I share it with you guys. These are my backup brushes, all of my lip products, and then all of my like miscellaneous things, puffs, lashes, deodorants, all those things. The I painted those, and then this is just decoration, right? The D that used to be in my background is now over here. This is my new storage unit that I purchased for the storage in this house. I actually got this at a yard sale for like 50 bucks, so it was pretty amazing. This is all of my perfumes. Up here, my body sprays are actually in the window, but these are all of my perfumes. I'll have to do a perfume collection with you guys at one point. You can see that most of them are in boxes. I don't really do perfume, but I have so many. So in this top drawer, we have all of my nail stuff. So nail polishes, my dip system, fake nails, and then a nail polish remover. I've got like stickers, nail stickers. I'm really big on nail stickers nippers all the things all things nail care is in here and then in this second drawer i have all the palettes that i have in my collection that i have not done a palette roulette on new palettes old palettes palettes i've shared with you but palettes i haven't done a roulette on this drawer will likely become something else in the future this drawer takes two hands to open so pause this drawer is all of my body care. So I have body lotions. I have like <laughs> more body lotions, <laughs> more body lotions. These are hand creams here. This is sanitizers here. And these are like body oils, um, different parts of the body care stuff. Ulta Beauty started carrying like wellness products. So these are like girl parts body care <laughs> this is foot care that is what is in this drawer and then when you get down to the bottom we open these i think i showed you guys this before but we open these and then these are three drawers that have my makeup in them so this has got all of my face palettes and all of my highlighters and then in this drawer we have all of my blushes and my bronzers and then my contouring palettes. And then in this drawer, we have small palettes. So like the like quads or nine pans smalls, single eyeshadows. This is eyeshadow sticks. And this is like eyeshadow potted singles, including our glitters and our cream eyeshadows so that is what is in this storage we go over here and we just have a chair these baskets i haven't figured out what to do with yet but we'll figure it out here is all of my hair care so i have so much there's like hairsprays and masks and styling products on the bottom this second shelf is full of like more masks, I guess, and oils, moisturizers for your hair. And then this top shelf has uh, like detanglers. It's got like heat protectants, uh, texture sprays and dry shampoos. And then up here I have like all of my headbands and like a water bottle here. All of my in-use hair products that I use and then my beauty fridge. In the window, well, this is stuff that is needing to go somewhere else right now. 
but in the window I have all my body mists. These are just little trinkets and knickknacks here and then in a mirror. Oh, this is declutter stuff that I have already decluttered that needs to go somewhere else. Some of it's new and will probably go into my drawers for giveaway and some of it's old that I'm trying to give away to friends and family. And um, this section is for all of my recording equipment. So if we go over this way, we'll start over here in the closet. I have decided to put like all of my recording equipment and and makeup bags here. Then I have a bunch of bags here for totes, makeup bags, whatevers. I give those away a lot and I give them away in giveaways a lot as well. I have ba boxes up here that are good boxes for giveaway boxes. And in this basket, I have some camera stuff. In that basket, I have like props, things like that for my background, I guess. These are my backup bins that you guys are familiar with, you've seen before. And this one, I just have all of the like nostalgic makeup that I won't be using, but I want to keep. This is empty. So this one will be whatever. <laughs> this is all of my mascaras that are backups. Like how crazy is that, y'all? This is mascaras, lash primers, lash serums, all the things. And then this is the other makeup that is all backups. These are products that I can't fit in my bins right now. And largely what's in there is lip glosses. And then this guy here is full of like just containers. Um, those products back there I'm actually saving for my mother. And then I have my Bath and Body Works candles and all my skincare tools. I have more bags here. And then down here, I have all of my hair tools still in boxes. So this is all my tanning supplies. This is, this is like cleaning stuff. It's like old magnetic palettes. This is my iPad cover that I'm using for a monitor. So, I mean, it's just stuff. This is sunscreens and this is like, um, sort of vital vitamins and then just stuff, you guys. I mean, <laughs> I, don't, I didn't know what to do with it all. Um, this is all skincare. It's like serums and all those things. And this bin is hair brushes and combs and things like that. And this bin is maybe giveaway stuff. This bin, top two drawers, are all giveaway things. This center section here is all beauty samples that I've received in one avenue or another maybe it's from flc maybe it's from gift with purchase whatever it is and then the bottom two drawers are also giveaway items but they are not like makeup or beauty items so uh, maybe they're like that right there that says biolage or metal straws and then i have a, a liquid hydration multiplier kit there i have like just excess gifts in stuff so that's what's in the closet um and this closet is pretty much the background of my videos because i sit here during my videos only kind of scrunched up over there that is my mirror for my vanity and you guys have seen this in a couple videos hi everyone i look like a scrub right now but um it lights up and it also has a backlight so I love it because it's got plenty of like white light that you need to do. It's got different colors of the lighting system here. It's very cool. My mom bought it for me for this new space because I was using the mirror that's sitting on the floor over there, but it just wasn't working for me to be able to do my makeup. I've always stood to do my makeup, but I've always stood in a place where there's really great light. So this is my vanity. And underneath it is a bunch more storage. So in this guy is like face masks that are both clay and sheet. There, there's foot masks, there's lip masks, there's all the masking is in there. And then that bottom drawer is full of like excess cords and stuff like that that I might need for recording. 
these cubbies are full of different things. This is our Wi-Fi system I told you guys at the beginning of the video. They put the Wi-Fi boxes in this room, so I had to think of a way to integrate them <laughs> without them getting in the way, so that's how they're integrated. In this cubby is things like um, moisturizers, and then this cubby is facial sprays, and this cubby is facial cleansers. Down here is more facial cleansers, and then of course my bottle of brush cleaner, and then down here is more facial cleansers. So it's all skincare. On my vanity, you can see I have my weight thing for project pan and then a setting spray and my Clinique step two. I use that every single day. I've got all my brushes here and this is brush cleaner just in a different thing. So I have it up here and it's not like clunky with the big one. This is my giant Tarte Man Eater mascara tube that I got from a old DM partner of mine. And then my candle that lights up. You guys are super interested in that usually. And then my Ulta mug that holds my dirty brushes. This drawer is full of just tools that I use on a daily basis. And then this drawer is now full of all of my everyday makeup. So this is my new everyday makeup drawer for the most part. This is all the mascaras that are in use in my collection. And this is more tools over here that I use. In this drawer, in the vanity, I now, this used to be my blush drawer. This now houses my powders, my correctors, and my concealers. And then this drawer has all of my primers, uh, face primers and eye primers. And then this drawer has all of my towels or my head wraps because I don't really have a place to hang them here. And then this is the table that I utilize when I am filming so my camera sits over here. This is my monitor my lighting, my whatevers. I have all of my in-use like moisturizers and serums and the like here. This is my um, Project Pan notebook. This is my Project Pan drawer. So it has Project Pan items and Deck of Panning items in it. These are the lip products that are in my everyday makeup drawer. When I say that this is my everyday makeup drawer for the most part, it includes this drawer here, which is where I keep all my lip products. And then this has just got some odds and ends. I didn't really know what to do with just yet. This is my potted eyeliners and then of course my liquid or my potted brow products as well. And then this is liquid eyeliners and this is um, colorful eyeliners. And then my everyday kind of like my favorites as far as my lipsticks are concerned. I have all of my foundations here. In this drawer, I have double-sided brushes. And in this drawer, I have just random tools, mirrors, like my little magnetic tool and my spatula and my, my pimple popper tool. And then of course my, my newest uh, pencil sharpener. And then in this drawer, I have my poofs and my sponges. I have my in-use body moisturizers and then this is a cleansing kind of like the Clinique take the day off balm but this is Ulta's version and it's a little bit more like oily than the Clinique take the day off balm. This is just stuff that has found its way onto the table. Um, I have like hair tools, nail files, setting spray, a wax, or not a setting spray, a dry shampoo and a hair wax and then nail files in here. Nothing in here changed really. I have um, eyeliners, liquid eyeliners in use. I have lip plumpers and serums. These are my brow products. This is the controller to my, my lighting system. This brush I use actually to clean the dust off of my mirrors that are sitting on my table. So it's a brush that I don't use. And then of course, scissors, razors, all the things. Um, in here, I have just multiple things that this is my cards for deck of panning and some hair stuff. Uh, this is the sponge tip applicators that you sometimes need when you're doing makeup. 
This is pens that I use to track things that I'm recording or, you know, that I'm penning. And then this is my Laneige things, fingernail clippers. This goes, this is the thing to my camera that I can take a picture or turn it on or off without it. And then this houses my SD cards when they're not in use. But as you can see, they're just kind of down here. <laughs> this is my Hello Kitty mirror that my mother bought me a while back. I love this mirror, so it wasn't going anywhere. And then in here, I have little, like, sample things of hair masks, um, uh, facial moisturizers, um, silk infusion by Chi, because it's a wonderful, like, makeup remover, but also a hair oil, some perfume samples, all the things, odds and ends here. It's kind of a mess. Um, these are the last of my facial cottons. I quit buying them years ago, and this is all that is remaining. I think there's like five or six there. Poopery, because everybody needs poopery. These, again, are just here because I have not found a better place for them yet. And then this is my little um, sharpener shavings catcher. <laughs> And this, this guy here is my sad lamp. So I don't know if you guys know anything about sad lamps, but I have seasonal affective disorder. So during the winter months, like I get kind of depressed. So I just don't want to do anything like I'm not worthy of the winter months. So this lamp, actually, I utilize it for 30 minutes a day on its like sunshine setting so that it mimics sunshine and vitamin D every day during the winter from like October to March or any day that I'm feeling kind of down and it, it really does help like I'm really surprised at it but it also has a task lamp so I'm gonna hold you like this and show you this is the sunshine section and it mimics vitamin D and then this is the task lamp so it just gives me a little bit more light in this room without being super hot. So that, my friends, is my beauty room. And I hope you enjoyed the tour and I hope you enjoyed watching me put it all together. I think I couldn't be happier. Let me know what your thoughts are. Other than that, y'all, I'm just happy to be back. I'm happy to be settling into my space and be rest assured more videos are on their way. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope that you're having an amazing day, that you and yours are well, and that all is good in your world. Please love each other, but love each other from afar. And until next time, bye, friends.